We want to factor this problem completely. There is no greatest common factor. So we count the terms, and there's three. That tells us we try factoring the decimal trinomial and set up our two parentheses. Since the first term is x squared, that means each of our first terms in our factors will have to be x, so that their product is x squared. Since the last term is subtraction, that means we'll have opposite signs, 1 plus 1 minus. We need the product of the last terms to be 21, which might be 7 and 3, might be 3 times 7, might be 21 times 1, or 1 times 21. So if we start with the 7 times 3, we can see we get an inner term of positive 7x and an outer term of negative 3x. 7 minus 3 is positive 4. Since we want negative 4, that means the 7 and the 3 is the correct combination, but that we need to reverse those signs so that the inner term is negative 7x now and the outer term is positive 3x. So negative 7x plus positive 3x is negative 4x. So that our factored form is x minus 7 times x plus 3, neither of which can be broken down further, so that is the completely factored form.